How you doing, good people? This is the Eight Bit Animal. Okay, so today's game is a port of a Commodore 64 title, and it actually holds a great deal of significance to gaming as a whole because of who developed it. Um, it's one of the earlier titles released that was developed by Will Wright, and I'll explain a little in a little bit what that means as far as his later games. It's from 1985. It's um, it was published by Broderbund, and it actually the cover art is actually a lot cooler than the game itself. Today's game is Raid on Bungling Bay. Okay, so in Raid on Bungling Bay, you control a helicopter that takes off from an aircraft carrier that is charged with destroying the six factories. And the six factories, basically, um, they're there to produce weapons for the Bungling Empire. Now, the Bungling Empire is this, um, this basically insert here villain that was used in several different broader bun games including load runner so there's that but as a whole this is a pretty standard shmup um you fly around in several different directions um kind of like the old arcade title time pilot or um or the date the early data east title final mission you fly around to these different islands. You find the you find the factory, bomb the factory until it blows up. If you run out of bombs, you go back to your aircraft carrier, land. It'll replenish your energy and it'll give you more bombs. You blow up the you blow up the factory, rinse and repeat, and you continue that until you destroyed all the factories, and then you advance to another level where you do it all again. Now, that seems easy, but there are a number of different enemies attacking you, and the longer it takes for you to destroy these factories, the more weapons pop up and the more advanced these weapons are. Also, they will be attacking your aircraft carrier, so while you're, while you're finding these factories and destroying them, you also have to protect your aircraft carrier. Because if your aircraft carrier is destroyed, regardless of how many lives you have, it's game over. Um, but whenever you destroy enemy ship, the enemy that's attacking your, um, your aircraft carrier and you land on it, everything resets. So there's that. This game was praised by some critics early on, and I don't really know why it's a really slow and plotting title um and i discovered that whatever's going on in the cover art really isn't happening in the game there is nothing as awesome as the cover art happening in that game but this game is very significant in that will wright developed it and basically the initial template for this game was used in was used as a little bit of a uh, city planning toy type deal for Will Wright to play around with when he discovered that other people liked this idea and they would be interested in playing it he fleshed it out added more features more of a and added an actual city building element to it and we got Sim City, so you can thank the raid on you can thank Raid on Bungling Bay in all of its simplicity for Sim City and all of the titles in that franchise. As far as finding a copy of Raid on Bungling Bay, truth be told, I can't really recommend this game all that heavily. It's a really, like I said, it's a really slow and plotting game. It's really formulaic. 
and it can be dull, downright dull at points. Um, but if you're looking for a copy, you can find one incredibly cheap because there's not a high demand for this title. And there are a number of them out in the wild. So, you know, if you want one, if you're a fan of Will Wright's work and you just have to collect stuff that he worked on, then by all means, you should definitely pick up this title. Other than that, I can't say I recommend it all that heavily. This has been the 8-Bit Animal. And I'll catch you beautiful people tomorrow.